Now these are from the... They started out looking for better ways to treat prostate cancer. What they found could someday make an impact on obesity. These mice gained weight. In a laboratory at Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, Dr. Carl Porter and graduate student Jason Gell were studying a gene in mice called SSAT. It's an enzyme that is known to alter the growth rate of cells, but they discovered it also affects something else, the rate at which fat is stored in the body. When we activate this gene, it decreases fat, but then when we knock the gene out, it increases fat, and that's not something that you normally see. And here's the proof. The gold color you see on these MRI images is fat. The mouse in the middle has a normal level of the SSAT gene and a normal amount of fat. Increase the gene levels, and the mouse on the left has only half the fat. And when you remove the gene altogether, this is what happens. The mouse on the right retained three times as much fat. The best part of it is, mice may not be the only ones who control fat accumulation in this way. The same system exists in humans. Uh, what we don't know is whether it behaves the same in humans. There's every reason to think it has that potential. And that potential may even extend to cancer itself. It's been estimated that up to 40% of cancers may be linked to obesity. There's no question that if we can reduce uh, obesity, um, we'll perhaps reduce cancer. So what began as an unexpected discovery will continue to be studied with a greater sense of urgency. At Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, this is Clark Powell reporting. You see how large these uh, 